Davido was in Uganda yesterday and he performed well. You know, I had a very wonderful time in Uganda. That is something that uh, cannot be denied. Enjoyed himself. He was treated like a king, like a uh, king uh, that he is. He was treated well with uh, standing innovation from uh, well notable musicians over there and everybody treated him well. But you know Nigeria have long history of discrimination when it comes to our Nigeria entertainers going to Uganda. We have long history of discrimination from the Ugandans, from the Uganda government. So I was thinking as at what happened to Thames, what happened to, uh, to Thames and Omali. I was thinking we are done with Ugandans. We are done with going to Uganda to perform as Nigerians. Nigeria artists because of solidarity to what happened to our fellow Nigeria entertainers. But then again, I understand that all man for himself, honestly. Up to today, no Uganda has come out to apologize to what happened to Thames Anomaly and so many of our, all those mini artists and mini Nigeria citizens who were detained unlawfully in Uganda. And the recent one is a DJ Rexy, who was also arrested in Uganda. That guy had to beg and come online to beg for people to assist him. All I'm saying is that there should be some kind of uh, SPD call within our Nigeria entertainers. I wasn't expecting Davido to go to Uganda. But obviously, Davido fans will say, oh, it's his money now. He's trying to do his work. What's his business? I understand. I clearly understand, but I wasn't expecting David to go to Uganda because he saw what happened to many of our entertainers in Uganda. Up to today, let's be honest, Uganda musicians, eh, many African musicians eh, do not like Nigeria artists because of, they will say Nigeria entertainers are the one dominating Nigeria music industry. Uh, are dominating the whole Africa. And because of that, you know, it's really not that good love from the artists, or I don't think mainly from the government, from the artists who have some kind of influence in the government that can influence some certain government offices to discriminate our own Nigeria artists. It's just that we, they, we just they easily forget. If something happened to us, you say move past it and forget. They held Omali and Thames in jail. Omali and Thames will never go to Uganda in their life. Thames said, as soon as they arrested them, eh, it seems like they already saw the uniform for them. They, they made that wear that uniform and put her in jail. The uniform dress. They made that wear it and put her in jail. On what basis? They say during the C19 COVID era that they already already announced they already announced there are some restrictions. But meanwhile, you guys announced this show was going on in your country. You guys were promoting the show in your country, and all the organizers of that show were from your country. And just you guys, you promote that show for months. You guys didn't know that there were restrictions. You guys didn't concern yourself. You allow those musicians to come into your country to arrest them. For what? What did they do wrong? Nothing. They were just invited to come there and you arrested them. Just the musicians, so they didn't arrest the, uh, the producers. They didn't arrest the organizers of that show. Who are Ugandans? They didn't uh, arrest them. Or they just arrested the musicians just left the organizers for me david don't come in there to perform eh? it's a blue david don't show that perform there honestly david don't show that perform there but although i still understand all man for himself is money first is money first before anything at all after all omali omali does not really really respect david though that much they have i don't know what kind of uh issue they have but 
I think they have some uh, issues with each other. But for me, David Doe should have traveled all the way to that place to perform. Because these people, they know like Nigeria. Let me be honest. They do not like Nigeria. Nigeria artists. Not Nigerians, uh, Nigeria artists. They, not, no, no, sorry. The, not the Nigeria, not the Ugandas. I'm talking about the Uganda musicians. The Uganda artists do not like Nigerians, Nigeria artists. So then we want to do things to make sure Nigeria artists, eh? They want to do things to make sure Nigeria artists get the, get the worst experience in Uganda. Let us get that straight. But it's all good though. It's manifest before any other thing. It's manifest before any other thing. And meanwhile, let's talk about uh, Asake and Udumudu Black and Black Sheriff. Udumudu Black revealed that Asake was supposed to be in his smash single, Wutu Wutu. But after Asake recorded this verse, check the verse out. So, after he recorded that verse, something happened. When it was time for Udumudu Black to drop the single, guess what? Asake management informed Udumudu Black not to drop it. And that was when Udumudu Black, he, he knows very well that was a smashed single. That was why Udumudu Black quickly, quickly included Black Sheriff. Quickly included Black Sheriff. And honestly, Black Sheriff, uh, see, despite what Black Sheriff has done, I've said uh, concerning Nigerian music, uh, Black Sheriff murdered that song. Let's be honest. I don't think I would have loved Ashake on that single than Black Sheriff. Black Sheriff was perfect for that Wutu Wutu. Black Sheriff was absolutely perfect for that song. Honestly, no joke. Black Sheriff, that song was meant for Black Sheriff. was perfect. I don't think Asake would have done. I don't, I don't think As Asake would have, honestly, would have killed that song more than Black Sheriff. So for me, I think it was a blessing. Although people are saying that Black Sheriff is way more... Is way more popular. Uh, sorry, Asaka is way more popular than Black Sheriff. And people would have viewed the song way more than uh, Black Sheriff. All those kind of things. But I don't care about that. What I know is that eh, as a, uh, uh, Black Sheriff eh, on that Woto Woto is way more better. It would have been way more better. It's even way more better than Asaka on that Woto Woto. You know, and again, People think that there's a beef between uh, Black Sheriff, so we're, sorry, between Udumudu Black and Asake. I don't think there is beef though. It's just the management. It's just that I think the time wasn't right. You know, there is uh, friendship and there is music business. When it comes to music business, your management, you just leave it for your management. Your management will know exactly the time for you to drop uh drop a project and not to drop a project maybe asake was about to drop something that's why i told uh, the mood of black to, to no, hold on first but uh, black said uh black said asake management reached out to him and told him not to release that song 